This time, we're going to dehydrate potatoes. So, hopefully, unless I've left something out, this should be the last thing we have to dehydrate to make our stew. Alright, well, first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to peel these potatoes. Alright, magic worked that time. Now, probably not going to use magic for this, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. I could use a chopper with this, but I won't lie, it's dirty. Plus, you kind of want to cut these up anyways to the thickness you want. So, you already have everything out, you might as well just finish cutting them. Unless, like later on, we're going to do like a 50 pound bag, then you do the chopper because it's easier on the arms. We're going to dice these up and cube them for the stew. But you could also use them in like hash browns or something like that too. When we get the big amount of potatoes, we'll actually be slicing them in the round slices so that we can use them for all gratin potatoes and that type of stuff. All right, let me get these all cut up. They don't have to be perfect. If they're not perfect, then everybody knows you didn't buy them in a store, you got them homemade. Okay. So, about that thick. And then just dice them. So then you end up with something about like that. I know I said I wasn't going to, but you don't want to watch me cut all these. So let's try a little bit of magic. And done. Alright. Now, I'm going to put these under some cold water, let them soak, while I bring the other water to a boil in the pan. We're going to blanch these, kind of like we've done everything else. We're going to bring the water up to a boil, put these in, or put the water over top. Let it come back to a boil, and we're going to let it boil for about three minutes. And then we'll take them out. We're not going to cool them. I'll bring you back for that. We'll put them on a tray and we'll shove them in the dehydrator. We're back. As you see, they're blanched. I don't put them in cold water. Let the heat work towards you. They're already hot. They're already a step closer to being dehydrated. See the steam coming off? That's water. It's water of escaping. So they're dehydrating themselves right now. Okay. So, just like before, we're going to put them on here. These, I won't put on quite as thick as we have the other items. And boy, am I making a mess. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. I like to keep them a little bit more separated. Because these will shrink up too, but not as much as the other items. There's a little bit of water in the bottom. I really don't want to come out, so... But I wasn't having very good luck separating them just by scoopfuls. Okay. So like I said, this is just for me to make stew with. A quick one-person stew, hopefully. Um, I'll probably a later date do a lot more, but just for the video, this is plenty. Plus, like I said, I'll show you the stew. I might even, this might be too much. It kind of looks like to me it'll probably be too much for just for one uh, person for stew. So I might use it for something else too. All right, I'm gonna put these in the dehydrator. It'll probably take at least 10 hours, but probably a lot more. I'll let you know how long it takes once they come up. Okay, here's the finished product. Um, took about 16 hours to get these big of a cubes shrunk down or dehydrated down. 
it looks like they're turning out a little bit darker than what they really are in the camera but super hard <clears throat> okay so that was it so we're pretty much just about ready for stew I will tell you there is one thing I just had to look over that I just can't stand that's a paprika do you know what that is down in the paprika right there that is an earwig he he's gonna be um, expunged from there once we're done all right I hope maybe you learned something hope maybe you'll do this yourself for food preservation and ease of storage because you know what you don't have to refrigerate it and hopefully once I get all the potatoes the big bag of potatoes from the farmer I'll be able to show you how to make mashed potato flakes too so that it's quick and easy to make all right you know the drill if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed think about subscribing that way you won't miss any of my videos all right thanks and I hope to see you on the next one.